Bafwa me ma bodam o, me ma bodam, ma bodam di ama Christo wate, me ma boy dam. Bati di mbi ati me ma ni Frankfurt na ni mbi ya. Ana mi ti di mbi ati me ma bufwa shone ye. Ama afa abu an ye dini ya, ma ba ye kaba yandara babu. En shua bato wate, ama afa emu an ye mre. Abu shunya fwa ati se akurambu ni. Se oba bi mu ni basi ya. Hello family, this is Kingdom Matters with Pastor Gideon. If you are interested in the word of God, you are in the right place. If you see the earpiece in my ears, it means that we are going to watch a video and we are going to react to it. Today, I'm going to show you a video of a fetish priest who actively, every now and then, he comes on TikTok, sings praises to the Lord Jesus Christ, occasionally prays in tongues, and still pours his libation, and still goes to his shrine, and still does his fetish priest duties. Aboni. Sha video no ne fama wonu ya bi ne ka kire ne se akora bo se me wa ha se abere bi ya maka no kora dia kire de wo sunsuma famu a e kutia wo bafo me ma bodam o me ma bodam ma bodam dia ma kristo wate me ma boy dam mat basically he is saying that he's crazy and he's crazy for jesus christ interesting ti ani bi na mat ti ni bi e o masum Batid be a timid man in front for you, and be a ya. Adam, it is be a timid man before Sunday. Mat, he says his head a name, a name that makes the blind see and makes the cripple walk. Did be a timid man, quite a four hundred say. Matid be a timid man when you pan young quan. Matid be a timid man when you pan young for who your brother is head a name that cleanses the leprous and also gives life to men. But it's the name of the Jesus Christ. And what is the name? It is the name Jesus Christ. Me power jump in the amount me kira wati. Sana me pesa wu pefa hundi ebi dema ukra. Me petna bi ya papa bi di amount me kira. Sana me pesa wu petna bi ya papa bi dema ukra. He's looking for salvation for his soul. He's looking for a good place for his soul, and that's the same thing he wants everybody to be searching for. That's the same thing he wants everybody to be looking for a good place for your soul. It's a study today and he wants you to share the video to someone. Sometimes you'll be struggling and even finding it difficult to get something to eat and some of you will travel to fetish priests and people ritualists in an attempt to get help but then when you go there is some great hand on your hand oh. but when you go to this ritualist the hand of god on your life and the favor that you have from god is what they are after they will take it from you and your life and your plight will even be worsened i didn't hear Sawa pabi na si wahu, ama afa abu anye dini ya ma ba ye kaba yandara babu. That was a short worship song in Chi, and then he spoke in tongues. Did you hear that? Let me go back a bit for you to see it. Ya ma ba ye kaba yandara babu. Enshu abato wate, ama afa mu an ye mre. Enshu babra bena wana muno. Chakini parubu wa usori vrika tasuna wama nkati ya sefuwa hu. Chakini parubu wabia ya uwa firibu ya siye. Chakini parubu wabia ya uwa yade fuwa muwezi kapa pabi na nsu uni unhoshi na nsu uda suwa mkwa wa huwa di. Ani ya fashe uhu mkuna nse. Ena mekachira use awradiba ya wabrabo kesi in Jesus Christ name. So he says, basically he's praying for the followers and the listeners that God will change their story in Jesus name. God is going to help them, basically. He brought this mirror literally to show them something. He wants to show them something with the mirror. And if you are on, he says, share the broadcast. 
when he speaks, he's speaking to sensible and reasonable people, not to fools in court. He speaks to the wise because the Bible says it's the fool that does not change his mind. I want to tell you the truth. Take me like your brother. I have a spirit that I don't know. Take me like your brother. I have a spirit and that spirit is harming me. And that's what I want to share with you. I have a spirit that I don't like. So he's gone into the direction of the spiritual principle that he wants to share with the people. He says that when it's time for you to sleep at night, if you have a mirror in your room, cover the mirror. Aye. No matter you are a pastor, don't think I'm fine. So trim so your spiritual man not be bien to me. Bro, it ran a jona ye to yen safferwa. No matter how you are, your fro, but the one thing of secret in a say. Or be one way in your media in to me for yen sang tan because a basaka see you be done so. So it says no matter who you are, no matter what pedigree you think you have in the spirit, make sure that if there's a mirror in your room, anytime you are going to bed, turn it to the wall or cover it because that's what they use as a portal to call your soul. And whoever you are at night, they, they call you. So I said, he has switched back to preach and he says that's why he wants you to have salvation for your soul. So you are sitting in your workplace innocently, but somebody in your workplace is going around coming to us because he is still an active ritualist who performs his fetish priest duties. He says that people do come to them and seek for help to destroy you. But he tells them that they are not sensible, basically. He's found a person who help the helpless, who opens the eyes of the blind, and that's Jesus Christ. This afternoon, this morning, this evening, Jesus Christ. If you are listening to him, if you are watching him, look for Jesus Christ. He said he's followed the world and gotten a spirit into his life. The spirit he didn't search for it, it's from his family. And that spirit is what is causing him to do the work he's doing, the ritualist and the fetish priest work. I don't like it. He doesn't like it. Jesus. He said the reason why he will never turn his back to Jesus is because there was a time he actually felt very sick and he took the intervention of Jesus. He called on Jesus and Jesus actually saved him. And so um, though Satan is wicked and ferocious, it's not stronger than God and it's not stronger than Jesus. So lean to Jesus Christ and call on Jesus Christ. That's him encouraging people to actually take Jesus Christ seriously. Jesus Christ. He said, you don't have protection, you don't have safety. That's why at night they call, they conjure your spirit and they take your, the things that belong to you, basically. So, at night when you are about to sleep, So, when you are sleeping at night or going out during the day, Make sure that you cover the mirror in your house, in your room, because 
when you do that, when they call you, they conjure your spirit, when they want to have a, an interaction with your spirit, when they call you, you are going to come with your back. It is because of my love for you. That's why I'm telling you the truth. That's what he's saying. I love you all my followers. He says always remember him in your prayers. And then he started putting out his number out there, basically. So you can see it for yourself. He sings praises always to God on his page. And in fact, he has that very touching voice he quotes the bible often even this one he didn't quote often when he comes or he will quote the scriptures he will preach and people will be moved he invites people to come to jesus christ and to receive jesus as their lord and personal savior then he speaks in tongues like he just saw and he's always thanking jesus christ and this leaves me in a dilemma what prevents this person from being fully saved and leaving all these things because he himself knows he's not yet saved. He knows it. And he says, pray for him that he will be saved. He still works with the spirits. And I'm going to show you a video where he still goes to the shrine and he still does his things as a ritualist. He performs rituals, honoring his spirits and his idols and doing all that a normal ritualist would do. But on the flip side, he's also a preacher on TikTok. Think about this. One man living this double life what is the dividing line what does the bible really say about such a situation now this is what the bible says anyone who truly receives jesus christ will forsake every other worship very very important if he truly knows jesus christ and he truly received jesus christ he will forsake all other worship Acts chapter 19 verse 19 it says many of them also which use curious arts they brought their books together and burned them before all men and they counted the price of them and found 50,000 pieces of silver have you seen it and then when you go to verse 20 it says so mightily grew the word of God and prevailed so anybody who truly receives Jesus Christ you forsake other spirits and other deities or God that you have been dealing with in Acts chapter 17 29 to 30 the Bible tells us therefore since we are God's offspring, Paul preaching, Apostle Paul preaching. We should not think that the divine being is like gold or silver or stone. And this man knows it. An image made by human design and skill. In the past, God overlooked such ignorance. But now he commands all people everywhere to repent. So you cannot re relate with the God of the Bible, the Lord Jesus Christ, and still go back to idols. It is not expected to be done by christians and believers first corinthians 10 14 and i know being a pastor for some time i know people who do these things they have they are in church all the days of church services but they have deity that they consult they have things under their beds this is similar to such situations first corinthians 10 14 says therefore my dear friends flee from idolatry first thessalonians 1 9 for they themselves report what kind of reception you gave us they tell us how you tend to god from idols to serve the living and true god so actually you are supposed to turn from idols to serve the living god basically first corinthians 6 9 to 10 says or do you not know that wrongdoers will not inherit the kingdom of god do not be deceived neither the sexual immoral nor idolaters nor adulterers nor men who have sex with men they will not inherit the kingdom of god basically it is clear so the moment you hear the gospel of jesus Christ, you understand it you want jesus to be your lord one of the signs of jesus being your lord is that you forsake your past and you break every ties with it there's no salvation to be found in any name salvation is found in no one else for there's no other name under heaven given to mankind whereby we must be saved so why would he still practice spiritism whilst calling on jesus christ that is the tough question i've been pondering about now sincerely my heart goes out for him on one side he looks like a helpless fellow who must be reached out to and but on the other side i feel it is also for class yes there's a part of me that wants to believe that and that's actually one of the things that has kept me from reaching out because i saw a, a comment on one of his videos which said that please 
please so oh, i'm just asking you know god so why are you not working for god then working for these girls then he responded he himself responded he said go and ask your mother now that's an insult this made me think probably he's just acting that he knows the lord for cloud and do we know there are so many out there who are feigning they are acting to be ministers of the gospel of jesus christ they speak in tongues they worship they preach but then on the flip side they are doing other things they don't have any relationship with jesus christ at all check yourself do you find yourself also having this double life you preach you may even speak in tongues you claim to have power you worship god but then in other sides or in other times you you consult your spirit you consult deities and you do other things when you have something missing you go to the ritualist to find out who stole it what truly shows that you believe in jesus christ what truly shows that you have embraced the lord jesus christ repent be baptized and then be properly discipled so if in case he comes across it please it's, this is not the time to preach Jesus Christ and to sing. It will just come across as somebody who is chasing cloud. What you need to do is actually go to a pastor and let the gospel be taught to you. Sit down, be discipled, grow in the Lord. And then if there is a calling for you to preach, come out and preach. But having nice voice, knowing Bible verses, being able to speak in tongues and still going back to your deity doesn't reflect christ god bless you i want to know what you think in the comment section let's pray for our brother let's pray that god will intervene and help in jesus name amen